Hello and welcome, welcome, welcome to Virgo. We are going to get started for your March reading. Um, I do want to point out that we are testing our new formula with a stronger scent and a crackling wooden wax, or I'm sorry, crackling wooden wicks. So yeah, I do want to present that. Those will be on sale soon. So Stay tuned for that. We are going to pull your oracle reading first. Uh, we will get into your tarot next. And then we will pull some positive affirmations along with um, reading from the astrology book, uh, The Power of Your Ascendance. So it will help you to know more about yourself if you wanted to know about that at the very end as always like subscribe comment below um this reading is for the intention of at least one message will be able to um resonate within you so if it does hit a thumbs up and thank you so much for tuning in let's get started Virgo, who is walking with Virgo at this time? Spirit guides and ancestors for March. Okay, we have a few of them. Actually, I'm going to pull. Okay, shapeshifter, transform and unveil your gifts. Okay, so that is the message transform and unveil your gifts. But also, I'm going to put these back because they, they are also telling me to pull in a different type of way. But we're going to start off with the shapeshifter. So transform. Uh, you are really going through a transformation right now. Um, you see things from all different types of perspectives, Virgo. And it is now, now is the time to unveil your gifts, okay? It's really time to go deep within with your intuitive and heavy emphasis on eagles, wolves, like feathers, like you're you're really like letting your feathers like go, you know, you're looking at it from a different perspective. Um so what spirit guide wanted me to do before I jumped ahead of myself. So I do feel like as a shapeshifter you do jump ahead of the game. So they wanted me to in this way they wanted me to shuffle cut it in half or thirds I'm sorry okay and we will pull protection guardian drop your shields yeah so um I am just all over the place today, aren't I, Virgo? Okay, so, uh, drop your shields. Um, really let go of whatever it is that you feel that you need to be protected from. Really let, let your wings and your colors really truly show, okay? And allow yourself to transform into this spiritual being I want to say okay heavy emphasis on um, feminine and masculine so you're you're trying to find this balance within you shaman trust in your higher forces yeah heavy emphasis on owl wisdom okay uh, you could be really tapping into your ancestry and uh, you could be Native American as well. Heavy emphasis on horns. Like, you could be very, like, bullheaded. Like, bullhead. Like, you know, like a bull. <laughs> like, you really are stern. And you know, like, the direction that you want to go. And that's why you've always, like, had to protect yourself, like, with these, like, horns, I feel like. And, um... 
uh, but you are very, very knowledgeable. You're really spiritual. Um, spirituality is like on a whole different level for you, Virgo. Okay, so um, and also Sage at the bottom of the deck, you are devoted and committed to whatever it is that you are trying to accomplish this month. Like remember to write it down, okay, and really meditate. Um, heavy emphasis on third eye, okay, so you could be opening up your third eye and really meditating on the things that you want to accomplish, um, so, uh, you could be looking at things from all types of different perspectives, so let's, uh, tap into, oh, and look, bottom of the deck of the tarot, like, you are making new connections, you are celebrating with friends, uh, you, I feel like you have a small group like a small circle of friends, but they are your soul brothers and sisters, okay? And they uplift you in every single way possible, Virgo. All right. Currently, what is happening for March for Virgo, okay? When you are your... Okay. There's a lack of focus, and that is because there's uh, some un unbalanced energy. You could be doing way too much or working way too much on something, and, and it's bringing you imbalance, okay? And um, that's when you have to trust in your higher forces and maybe uh, drop your shields when it comes to... Um, look at it from a different perspective when you are... Um, trying to look for balance and you're looking to find inspiration okay trust in those higher forces so currently that is what you're going through um theme of the month for virgo so you have stepped into your willpower your magic um the power of your mind, your subconscious, okay, you're finding balance, you're learning that you can manifest anything that comes um, into your mind, okay, and, your tr um, and spirit is saying, you know, trust within that, start believing in the things that you aren't manifesting, um, especially when you're feeling like no support, um, and you're feeling like the victim, um, those are the times uh, to step into your willpower, okay, so that you can find balance. And um, you are completing these cycles at these times. Um, you are on, on your destiny. You are on the road to, to success. Like, you are fulfilling these um, cycles, like these lessons in your life and you are starting to find balance and you are going to reap the rewards that are coming to you okay um that are owed to you actually not even just coming to you these um rewards are owed to you and i feel like with you being such a humble person um you are learning how to drop your shield and you're learning how to give back, okay? You're shining your true colors and you're um, able to trust within yourself that these rewards are coming back to you, okay? And you will be able to give back. Um, I feel like you could also be in the month of March uh, giving back to charity or the homeless or helping people um, that just really, really need it, Um Maybe even giving people, like, food, um, heavy emphasis on, like, building, like, your empire with the, with the, you know, a community, um, helping a community out, Virgo, so whatever it is that you're doing with your, um, resources, you know, you are helping the community around you, and you do have to trust that you are, and you're, um, you know, with the shapeshifter, you're shifting other people's lives, okay, and you, and they see your true colors, heavy emphasis on feminine, like, feminine energy, like, they, they see that you are nurturing, so, remember when dealing with people, it's okay to drop that, Drop those shields. Key goal to pursue for Virgo, March. To be totally satisfied with you and the love and support around you. Yeah, because there is going to be a fresh new start with the Ten 
of swords, okay? Like, all your cups will be uh, fulfilled, and yeah, you're gonna have the love and the support around you. Like, people really do look up to you, Virgo, and um, your, your goal is to have a fresh new start within... Whatever it is that you're you're wanting, okay, a fresh new start and like remember to drop that shield and trust in what um trust in the wisdom that that's within you. Okay, trust in your ancestors, your the wisdom, your dreams even, okay. Um and unveil the talents that you have, okay? Obstacle to overcome for Virgo, <laughs> the obstacle to overcome is protecting yourself from those energies, okay, uh, putting up those shields uh, from people, okay, because, you know, you're all about helping people, you want to help people, you want to help a community, right, so sometimes you do have to drop those shields and just trust with the um, intuition that is, um, guiding you okay um yeah because you have been through a lot of pain and heartache with the three of swords okay you've been stabbed in the heart you've been betrayed um you felt backstabbed okay and it's just natural to put up your your guards right but spirit is saying it's okay to drop them um what is your major accomplishment virgo for march major accomplishment thank you um gaining that mental clarity over your mind okay back to the to the willpower like of your subconscious of that that mental clarity um being able to tap into your inner child and express like your inner um emotions to people around you or maybe someone that you trust okay uh, the fool feeling, um, about feeling careless, or this could be queen of wands, cold, um, rigid, aggressive, just very dull, um, or feeling very dull, I guess, with the queen of wands, this would also be a sister, mother, um, but pe so people who are just dishonest and unkind to you, um, like you are expressing that, um, and any mental blockages, like you have all of this clarity over, over that, okay, over people that are just absent in your life, people that, um, who are just immature, people who have, like, mental blockages, like, you are aware of all of that within people and also within yourself, and, um, I feel like you are, um, going to have this unexpected gift show up for you, and it will bring back childhood memories, but, um, those are the, the warm, loving memories to help nurture you from, from spirit, so, yeah, um, it will bring you, complete joy and happiness in your life so these little unexpected gifts are from spirit letting you know that you know you are on the right path okay um it will bring you much love and joy so that is your major accomplishment is just this mental clarity um about everything around you um, and you are able to see from the third eye, okay, you are able to see from a different perspective, you are spiritually growing into the person that, that you know that you are, and I do feel like heavy emphasis on both masculine and feminine energy, like I've said again, like there is, um, I feel like, um, in the, in, there could be a past loved one that's like, that's like an elder, I'm getting uh, grandpa or uncle, um, I'm getting some, uh, another masculine energy cousin, okay, um, and they're really helping to guide you, um, but there is a lot of masculine energy like surrounding you, really protecting you, so just make sure to drop your shields and just let that love in and trust your instinct. Um, things are going to be happening very rapidly 
Okay. Um, what to avoid? Okay, so... <laughs> Sometimes you could be avoiding, like, having, like, faith, all right? Like, sometimes, um, and this could be, like, <sighs> you're, it's like you're almost questioning. It's almost like you're almost questioning what it is that, like, the faith, right? Um, but spirit is is trying to help you like have faith and have that balance and have um and take things in baby steps and good karma is on your side and the and and I, heavy emphasis on circle like the wheels are turning in your favor like you don't have to worry um so much about these negative energies okay because you have the mental clarity within yourself so um, heavy emphasis on time, okay, like you can manifest anything that you want, anything that you want, Virgo, what it is, what is it that you're embracing, you are embracing your weakness at this time, um, When you are feeling weak, you will have the love and support around you to help you move forward. Where are you going to find the most support? You're going to find the most support by um, going within and finding your inner strength and light. And you will be recognized for the rewards that are coming to you.
Yeah, so with this, it's just like really go within. Find your inner strength. Find your light. That's where you're going to find your most support and uh, you fi will find your pure happiness and true joy, okay? Advice and encouragement for Virgo moving forward in March. Thank you. All right. This mental agony and this stress, um, you could be having nightmares, but you are totally going to overcome this. You are going to find peace and happiness. Okay. There is going to be no more stress again uh, with the Ten of Swords reversed. Uh, you are finding a fresh new start. You are finding clarity. Uh, with the judgment, and um, yeah, it's like this wake-up call is happening within you, Virgo, and you are going to be able to move forward, maybe even relocate to a new home. Congratulations if you do. Um, if you have kids, you'll be able to just move away or maybe even go on a trip, maybe even um, experience the lake, just go out, okay? Be truly happy. Um, and successful with who you are because you have the ability to do anything that you want to, Virgo. So let's go ahead and pull some positive affirmations. Which is the crazy, so I do feel like you are definitely 100% confirmed that you are definitely a witch. Um, and it's okay to be weird. It's okay to show your true colors, and that's what that means, okay? Um, feel the love, okay? So you could be manifesting um, love, um, but this is also... Um, loving yourself, loving others, um, trusting that you do have love and support around you. Um, heavy emphasis on there could be a new soulmate coming in or if, if you're in a relationship, this is your soulmate, okay? Accept what is and let go of what was and have faith in what will be. Okay, so those are your messages and at the bottom of the deck, have courage to be you have the courage to be you and have courage within you as well to be who you want to be we are going to read from the ascendant of virgo uh, to really help you tap into the power uh, that you desire or also to help you understand a little bit more about yourself Virgo ascending indicates an analytical outlook. Though the degree of emotionalism depends on other influences in your horoscope, it is generally through the mind that you per perceive the world. That is not to say you are cold and insensitive. Indeed, the opposite is true, for Virgo ascendants have deep and tender emotions and care a great deal about others. However, it is the process of thinking logically that gives you the deepest satisfaction. You appreciate the finely tuned me mechanics of shifting through facts and information, finding the truth of the matter, introducing order and reason into almost any situation. Rising Virgos are rather fixed in opinion, but not so inflexible that they will not change their minds upon careful review of opposing, opposition, opposing facts. <laughs> Sorry. To you, the cardinal sin is to be ignorant in one's ignorance. A fault sometimes is your inability to put things in perspective. A proclivity for getting bogged down in and losing sight of the big picture. You magnify the importance of a petty detail and then become resentful if others fail to see its significance. Work is important to you and you usually accomplish a great deal during your lifetime. 
Often you are at war with yourself between wanting things to come easily and your great need to achieve solely through your own efforts. Control both of self and of events is what makes you feel secure. As it turns out, most rising Virgos do gain their own hard work rather than through the influence of others. You have a charm and elegance that is difficult to pin down. You are not always easy to know. Your shyness and aloofness, sometimes well disguised by a social veneer, must be penetrated by anyone who wishes to become truly close. Emotionally, it's hard for you to show your feelings through a great deal is always going on under the surface. As children, rising Virgos sometimes suffer from poor health. Happily, health improves the older you get. For many of you, a marriage partner brings property or wealth. Later in life, rising Virgos frequently become property owners, often in a foreign country. Success for you is often linked to dealing in and travel to places far from home. As a rising Virgo person, you tend to have a gentle, oval face, eyes that sweep around a room of, and take in everything, and a body that gives the impression of fertility, but it also is actually very strong. Oh, fragile. Fred, for, for, I don't even know how to say that. For, it's like fragile, uh, but you're very strong. The, pal, uh, the planet Mercury, which rules Virgo, is very prominent in your horoscope. The influence of Mercury bestows a logical mind, acute powers of observation, an intellectual outlook, perception, and flair for science and writing. It also encourages fussiness, a nervous temperament, sarcasm, fault-finding, and worry. So with that being said, accept what is, let go of what was, and have faith in what will be, Virgo. Much love and light handed your way. Take care.